Today on Let Them Talk TV, a grammar lesson for you. We're going to compare the present perfect with the present perfect continuous. These two tenses are often confused. I'm going to go through an explanation of the grammar and then with the help of John from English with Monty, we're going to look at some examples and some common mistakes in the context of a real conversation. Are you ready? Let's go. The present perfect is actually a past tense. We use it to talk about completed actions that occurred at a non-specified time in the past. So for example, I've read Harry Potter. Don't say when, I've read it. We've met before. We also use the present perfect with unfinished actions that started in the past that continue up until the present. So for example, we've known each other for a long time. I've had this, I've had this phone for one year. The present perfect continuous, we also use for actions that started in the past and are still continuing in the present. So for example, she's been playing video games for hours. I've been trying to find the answer for 20 minutes and I still don't know. And we also use it for recently completed actions that have a consequence on the present. Sometimes to give explanations as to why things are how they are. So let's have a look at an example of that. I'm exhausted because I've been working all day. Her hair is wet because it's been raining. The children have mud on their clothes. Why? Well, they've been playing in the garden. There are some verbs that don't use or rarely use the present perfect continuous. And in order to understand this, we need to look at the two types of verbs we use in English. And these are, stative verbs and action verbs. Stative verbs are verbs of states, feelings, senses, and emotions. So for example, like, love, hate, know, have, belong. These verbs are rarely used in the continuous form. I say rarely, because you might find some exceptions. So an example of a stative verb is to know. I have known John for a long time. I have been knowing John? No. I've liked ice cream since I was a young child. I've been liking? No. This land has belonged to our family for generations. Action verbs can take the present perfect continuous, though they don't always. Now, here's some examples. I've been writing this thesis for six weeks and I still haven't finished. I've been digging a hole in the garden for the last hour. I've been watching TV all evening. However, many action verbs that refer to a one-off action rather than a continuous action will usually take the present perfect. So for example, to open. Okay, it's an action verb. You can say, I am opening. But we say, I've opened the door and not I've been opening the door because usually when you open something, it's a single gesture. I've been opening the door for 10 minutes. No, that's unlikely. Another of these verbs is to fall. For example, Nikolai has fallen over. To fall is an action verb, but when you fall, it's usually just one motion. So you use it with the present perfect. He has fallen over, not he has been falling over. Some verbs can be a stative verb and an action verb with different meanings. So for example, the verb to feel. When it's used to talk about your well-being, it's an action verb. I've been feeling tired today. When you use it to talk about your opinion, on the other hand, it's a stative verb. I've always felt that we should do more to help the environment. The verb to have is also like that. For possession, it's a stative verb. I've had this watch since my grandfather passed away. 
but you can use have to mean the passing of time. For example, we've been having a lot of fun together, haven't we? Sometimes a verb can be used with a present perfect or a present perfect continuous with a difference in meaning. And sometimes the difference is quite subtle. So for example, what's the difference between I've bought fruit and I've been buying fruit? If you use the present perfect, then it's about the result of the process. Okay, I bought lots of fruits and now we can make a fruit salad. And we use the present perfect continuous to talk about the process itself and how this touches on the present. In this case, the actual buying and perhaps on its impact on something else and not the results, which is a shopping bag full of fruit. I'll give you an example, I'll make it clearer. Hey, why didn't you come to the yoga class today? Well, I've been buying fruit all morning for the party, so I didn't have time. Now, there are a few verbs which might be active or stative with a very small difference, but you could use both. The most common are the verbs to live and work. For example, I've been living in Mexico City for five years, or I've lived in Mexico City for five years which is correct. Well, you might hear both. There is perhaps a nuance of a difference in meaning if the speaker is trying to indicate that it's a state, something pretty permanent, then he'd use the present perfect. So for example, I've lived in this town all my life. But if it's clearly a temporary, ongoing, changing, situation you'd use a present perfect continuous i've been staying in this airbnb for two weeks the verb to work also works in this way i've worked here for a long time okay or i've been working here for a long time both are possible but you might say i've worked here since i left school that sounds a bit more like a state rather than something changing but as i said you will hear both there are perhaps other verbs you could use in this way. Okay, it just depends on uh, how you feel about a situation. So the verb to play, for example, could be used in the present perfect or present perfect continuous. I've been playing the piano for two years. I've played the piano since I was a child. So the second sentence just sounds a bit more permanent, that it's a part of you, it's a part of who you are and not something that's just arisen or is, or is changing. Now I'm here with John from English with Monty. Say hello, John. Hello, everybody. Hello, Gideon. Hi, and we're going to look at the difference between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous, and we're going to look at some questions. My first question is for you. Okay. I'm What's ready. the difference between I have cleaned my room and I've been cleaning my room? Ooh, so I would say I have cleaned my room is something that's just recently finished, just recently happened. Yeah. And you could say I've been cleaning my room like you're dead tired and you're like, oh, I've been cleaning Why my room. Why are you room. so tired, John? I've been cleaning, I've been cleaning room. my room. It's such a weird example because you never clean your room. So. How do you know? I've seen it. Okay. So, so it's like, oh, I've cleaned my room. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, oh, I've been cleaning my room all day. I'm exhausted. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Like that. So you've got a question for me. I have got a question for you. So have you seen Penelope? Yeah. Or have you been seeing Penelope? Ah, oh, that's interesting because here the verb see has different meanings if it's used as a stative verb mm -hmm. or it's used as a action verb mm -hmm. and I've seen Penelope yes yeah, she's just over there I've just, I've, I've yeah, just I seen yeah. Penelope she's walking out the um, post office yeah she was buying a stamp <laughs> people buy stamps anymore. just it's just one yeah. stamp <laughs> and if you see in the continuous sense it means that you are having a relationship ah. with 
um, that person. Mm -hmm. So I've been seeing Penelope for six months, means we've been dating for six months. Okay. Okay. That, that's quite an important difference though, isn't it? It is, isn't I it? Because like I think there are just a few verbs which have a different meaning if they're used in the continuous or in the... Um, or as a stated verb. That's kind I, of I couldn't say I've been seeing this film. You can't say things like no. that, can you? <laughs> no. I, 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 I've, I've been seeing my coffee a long time now. No. It wouldn't work. It doesn't work. It only works in a relationship sense. I think so. In this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, Next one. If I say, John, have you drunk coffee? And John, have you been drinking coffee? Mm -hmm. What will be the difference? So, I have just recently had a coffee. Have you drunk coffee? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've yeah. just had it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've been drinking coffee. I'm yeah, kind of I would. A bit so if you <laughs> buzzing exactly, you got coffee stains all over your shirt. I say, John, have you have you drinking coffee? <laughs> you got coffee stains, or, or, or you buzz? You're buzzing, as you say. Exactly. Yeah. But, if I'm buzzing. Um, mm. Have you drunk coffee today? Because we could go and get one. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So that would be the difference, wouldn't it? Next question. So you've been reading that book for a while now, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. So generally, you say, I've been reading this book, you haven't finished it. If you, I've read the book means you finished the book. Yes. Could, so it's possible the action is completed with the present perfect continuous. So for example, hey, what have you been doing this, today? I've, I've been reading this book all day. Mm -hmm. uh, I just finished it a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So it could be finished, but normal situations, I've been reading this book means it's not finished yet. Yeah, sure. Um, I guess it's a consequence on the present, isn't it? So yeah. What have you been doing? I've been doing this. I've been reading exactly. this book. Exactly. Yeah. Consequence on the present. That's a good way of putting it. Now. Yes, indeed. Okay. What about the verb to think? I've thought and I've been thinking because they have slightly different meanings in the continuous and it's present perfect. They do. Yeah. So I have been thinking about buying a motorhome. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah traveling around the British Isles in my motorhome. Nice. Uh, with my my dog, Archibald. Felix. Archibald. Okay. Archibald. No, Felix. He, he died. Okay. Yeah. And um, I have often thought that yeah. dogs make very good companions. Okay. Good, 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 good example. Yeah. Mm. So, been thinking is about an idea mm -hmm. that you have and have thought is about a belief, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. So I've been thinking about buying some, I've been thinking about changing my, my job, mm -hmm. thinking about, so, so it's an idea. You've been thinking about changing your job? <laughs> it's, I've been thinking about stopping making videos of you. Oh, okay. That might be <laughs> otherwise, uh, otherwise I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> um, but I've often thought that you're, you're, you're a good guest on these, um, Thank you. Uh, these, these videos. I've so. often thought you're a good good host. Okay, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I've seen, I've seen that you've got you've, you you have a language book in your bag. Have you been learning Portuguese? I have been learning Portuguese okay. for a few weeks. A few weeks. Okay. It's uh, one for language. Excellent. And uh, I just just a reading ability. I can't speak it. Okay. Uh, well, but uh, yes, I've been learning Portuguese. So uh, I think if you if you're learning something and you and it's and it's not finished and continuing, use the present perfect continuous. I think that's what you're trying to say, isn't it? That that's what I'm trying to say. Yes. But if you say I have learned, it means that you have completed the tasks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I have learned how to operate a, a video camera. Mm -hmm. I hope so. We will check later. So now, John, we're going to look at a couple of very common mistakes, and that is the difference between the present perfect continuous and the present continuous. So I teach in Paris, mm -hmm. and one mistake I hear all the time, I guess it comes from the French language, but I think it's across many languages, but some will say to me, for example, I am living in Paris for two years. Right. That's not correct, is it? That's not correct. You would, you would say I have been living in Paris for two years. Yeah. Because we are connecting the past to the present. That's why using the present perfect and continuous and it's continuing. Exactly. So with the present continuous, you would say, for example, 
I am living in Paris, you could say. I am living in Paris now. Exactly, yeah. 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 I am drinking coffee. Yeah. We are filming at the moment. Yeah. Oh, also, we could use it with the future, couldn't we? We're, we're meeting for coffee tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. At, that's and the other mistake, mistake which, is, which is basically the same thing, but the, the, just to... The other mistake is filming here when you have the police passing here every 20 seconds. Another, and another mistake, which is linked to this one, it's, just, it's basically the same thing, but I, I hear them say, I am learning English for five years. Mm -hmm. That's not right. It's not right. No, I have been learning for yeah, five for the, years. For the yeah. same reason, isn't it? Yeah. So I waited for the bus since one hour. Is that correct? Uh, that is not correct. Okay. I would say I've been waiting for the bus for one hour. Ooh. Why is that then? Well, since would be a fixed point in time in the past. So I could say I have been waiting since 12 o'clock. That would be correct. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the continuous form, I would use the continuous form because it's a, it's an action. It's a continuous action. It started in the on. past. It's happening now. It's still continuing. Exactly. So you've got to use the present perfect continuous. And the wait is an action verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. definitely. And I just added in that little extra mistake about since and for because it's so common. It is very common, yeah, that one, isn't even it? Even though it's yeah. not really the subject of this video, I just put it in there. No, not okay. since one hour, not during one hour, no, no, during before a noun. For duration of time is for. Yes. To remind everybody. Yeah. Such a common mistake. Okay, John, you've been very helpful. I hope you learned something from John. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. And You're welcome. Well, see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Bye. See you soon. Take care.